Hi guys, I have my empties video for you today. I'll just address quickly, I have redone my hair. I bleached the ends and I'm putting um, kind of like a light blonde colour from here to here. I also bleached a little bit at the front, but um, yeah, I'm not I'm not totally sure about whether or not I'm happy with the colour, whether or not I'm going to go all over darker or what I'm going to do, but this is what it's like for now, uh, and I'm kind of living with the cut because it's really uneven and yeah. But I thought we'd mention it because it's different from the last video. But anyway, my battery is not so great today, so I'm just going to whiz through these products uh, that I finished up in the last month. I have my little bag of empties here. Uh, the first thing that I have is the Aveda or Aveda Stress Fix Bath Salts, which um, a lovely fellow YouTuber sent me when I met her in London last year and went to the IMATS. Um, the IMATS? Or just IMATS? The IMATS. Anyway, that one. Um, and she's called Lauren Baker, I want to say. I will link her channel below, but I'm not sure that she still makes videos. But she sent me this, uh, and I really, really liked it. It's very, very kind of um, menthol, and it is very relaxing, but it's very expensive, and I definitely wouldn't purchase it. It's nice, um, but it's one of those things, there are very, very few kind of bath products that I would be willing to splurge on. That's not one of them. Um, same with this, Philip Kingsley Elasticizer Extreme. I've used the regular Elasticizer and the Extreme. Neither of them did really anything for my hair. I don't know whether or not um, my hair was kind of beyond repair at that point. I've tried it at different kind of stages of damage because I've had um, the Elasticizer for maybe two years. But they actually sent me this when I gave the sample that I'd got from Glossy Box maybe two or three years ago, um, kind of a negative review on my blog, they contacted me and said, we really think you'll like it, let us send you some things. And I honestly don't know whether or not they said that to make me think, oh well if they're going to send me some stuff then I'll tell everyone that it's great, or if they genuinely did think, no, I know you should like it, try it again. Um, but I did like it, I finished the whole thing now, and no, wow anything. I've tried so many hair products that I like more than that and that is so expensive for what it is. So yeah, I have some hair um, product kind of, or a hair product video coming up very soon about uh, what I use on kind of damaged hair and good conditioners and things that I think um, are good for my hair. And that thickening one from L'Oreal, the new Fibrolysis or whatever it's called, the one that's supposed to thicken up your hair or make your hair look thicker. I love that. Uh, but anyway, that's for another video. Didn't like the elasticizer. Uh, warm vanilla fig bath bubble bath, whatever, from Avon. I kind of use this as a shower gel uh, and a body wash as well as a bubble bath and we have another one of these on the go. Smells amazing and Avon bubble bath bubbles or creates more bubbles than any other bubble bath I've ever tried. I'm not a bubble bath person but the kids love it and the tiniest amount. I wanted a video because uh, I've made some videos for Avon over the past like month or so and last summer I did some as well um, and I did one where I kind of time lapse um, filmed the bath filling with bubbles and it's just amazing, it's not that much um, that you need of this and it was just like a full bath of bubbles um, like I say it smells nice um, Dove Hair Therapy Refreshing Hair Dry Shampoo I have mentioned this before, I really like it, I like it more than Batiste and uh, I have repurchased it, I repurchased it very very recently, you may have seen it in my last haul um, Shaw Clear Pure Crystal I can't remember why I got this oh, because um, I did a blog post for Shaw, it was about the compressed um, new kind of compressed deodorant and I did one and they sent me the regular, the blue one I didn't like the smell of that and in order to actually review it I went and got this one I way prefer the smell of this one to the blue cotton fresh or whatever it's called um, and it's nice, it lasts quite a long time but I'm not really that bothered, you know, I, I think if you're kind of really big on eco-friendly or you've, you're tight for space if you want something to keep in your handbag then it's good um, but I really do like my uh, I want to say Gillette, I never can remember Right Guard, my Right Guard Uncentered Purple that's my favourite. Um, this must have been in here a while. I finished this in January. Uh, Beautycology Sweet Gingerbread Shower Cream. And this I've had since, not even last Christmas, the Christmas before. Yes, the Christmas before. I really like the smell of this, but as a shower gel, I thought it was a bit rubbish. Um, it didn't really have any lather to it. It didn't soap up at all. It was quite, it was really strange in texture. It didn't, just didn't soap up on my skin. It was okay if I used it on like a, a sponge or one of those mesh things. Um, which, by the way, it's not called a loofah. Um, like a shower, you know what I mean. The shower flower thing that people call it, all different kinds of names. Um, I don't even want to get into that discussion again because I've spoken to you guys about it at length before, about how it's not called a loofah, but what is it called? And nobody knows what to call it. Um, but I don't particularly like that. The smell is amazing, but I don't particularly like the actual formula. Um, Sanctuary Body Moisture Spray. I feel like this stuff has been sat here forever. I didn't mention these in my last empties, did I? Um, yeah, I really liked this one. It's a very light kind of dry oil spray. Again, it smells like everything from the Sanctuary. 
amazing. Um, a lot of this stuff I feel like has been a bit mm, not so great but this is really nice. What I do absolutely love is their non-oil, I think it's called creamy body oil which is amazing. I use it on and off um, when I'm not using my really thick ones and that is really really ab it absorbs, not really absorbent, it absorbs very quickly but it feels like an oil like this one does um, but you don't get that residue and that's better. I like this but since discovering the creamy body oil I would definitely use that one more. Um, last kind of body lotion-y thing, Repair and Revive Body Butter, and this is from Raw Skincare. Um, this was nice, it was a bit strange, I've had some things like this in the past, and basically it's kind of whipped. So it's kind of an oil, a natural, um, you know when you get like shea butter, a natural butter. Um, so because obviously it's Raw Skincare, it's a natural product, um, it, it's, it doesn't hold up the same way as something with maybe preservatives in it and lots of chemicals and all that stuff. So if you leave it in a hot area, it basically melts and comes to about this size of the product. So it's no longer whipped, it's just kind of a, a natural balmy kind of oil. And um, so it's thick and when you put it on your skin, especially when it's just out of the bath when you're hot, it melts and it travels and you only need a very, very small amount, but you don't get, you don't feel like you're getting as much product. And I have something else that I'm using at the moment from Conscious Skincare, which is exactly the same. And I feel like I've used something else in the past that's the same. If you, you have to kind of keep it in the fridge as soon as you've got it because it doesn't stay whipped. Any amount of heat in the air or in the atmosphere in the room that it's in makes the product melt. So I liked it, but I don't know, I like my chemicals and preservatives. Um, another Avon product, Avon Sensors Winter Cocoon Luxurious Sandalwood and Vanilla Shower Cream. Again, this smelled really, really nice. Very, very basic. I think my grandma got me this for Christmas. She generally gets us kind of some um, toiletries and stuff at Christmas time. Um, you probably will remember better than I do if you watched that video. Um, but I liked the smell of this and it was just, you know, it was a shower gel, nothing special about it. And lastly, I used this. Can I get it out of the bag? This Power Peel, and it came in like three different sachets. It's Power Peel from Ole Henriksen, um, and it's three steps and it's supposed to, it's kind of almost a chemical peel, like a DIY at home chemical peel. I don't think it's quite as strong as that. And especially for my skin, which I feel is quite hardy, and I think I have to do a lot to it to get it to kind of tingle and feel like it's doing something. I read some reviews on that and people were like, oh my God, you know, it really stings. but it didn't really do that for me and it didn't do very much at all. Um, so if you want me to talk you through that, I have another sachet, I could do kind of another um, on camera if you'd like to see that, but yeah, it didn't do a lot for me. I wouldn't repurchase it, but I do have another one to use if you'd like to see it in action. Uh, but I'm gonna have to go now because my camera is dying uh, and I will see you guys on Friday for my favorites from February, alliteration. <laughs>